Everybody, there's storms on the way, and that means it is time for another test night. What I have here is the Alps Mountaineering Lynx one-person tent. It is time to set this up in the dark to see how complicated it is. And then this tent is going to go through a night of rain, storms, and strong wind. Let's do this. The forecast for the night, strong storms, strong winds. It is going to get nasty. So I'm definitely using a ground sheet. This will help keep my tent clean from all this dirt and mud. One of the good aspects about this tent is that it is very, very easy to set up. It's also very quick. Since the winds are going to be picking up, I am going to stake this out. And that is something that I don't always do. Now, as it stands right now, it is somewhat breezy. I wouldn't say that it's windy, it's breezy. At times, there are some stronger gusts, but it will be interesting to see just how intense it gets tonight. You know how it goes when it comes to forecasts. It might storm, it may rain, the winds may be strong, and then again, none of that may happen. So as you all could see here, the setup process has gone very, very quick. I mean, literally minutes. Because there's a possibility of strong storms, I am attaching the Velcro. One interesting aspect to this tent here is that it's almost like a double walled tent. The inner is not made from pure mesh. In fact, there's very little mesh, which means that tent is going to be hotter in the summertime because that material holds in more heat. So it will be interesting to see how comfortable I am tonight. And it will also be interesting to see how well it handles moisture, condensation, and so on. So everybody, I'm inside of the Lynx one person tent right now. And I have to be honest with you, I am begging the sweet gods for a breeze because this tent is very hot. It is very stuffy. Because of this material here, because of the fact that there's very little mesh, it's hot. It really is hot. I mean, you have some mesh right here. This entire wall right here is mesh. You have more mesh on this side and on the other side. The mesh that it does have would be a good thing with the exception that the fly is very close to the wall of the tent and basically it goes all the way down to the ground. So it really has to be windy for any airflow to come up these walls because of this material right here. It is very high all the way around this tent. So it really takes a strong gust of wind to hit this tent to come through the mesh so you can feel it. So it is roughly 65 degrees right now and I'm hot. I'm really, really hot inside of this tent. So. I'm going to basically just strip off because right now, very warm <laughs> and there's not much I could do about it. The fly has been rolled back. It's completely open. So as much air can come in as possible. Now, when it comes to the setup of this tent, very, very easy. I mean, super, super simple. There are a few things that I've noticed with this tent. There are Velcro straps, which attach to the poles. They are way too long. They're so long that they're ineffective. They do a very poor job of actually attaching to the pole. They need to be much, much shorter. Next off, there's not enough guy lines with this tent, not enough included. It comes with four, but you actually need five. Two for the back, two for the other side, and then one for this side. The gear caddy's awesome. The quality seems very good so far. To me, this seems like more of a three plus season tent. And that essentially means like it's made to go further into the fall, not quite into winter, but less use in the summer because of this material. This is what you find typically in four season tents. You have a lot of this. Three season tents, you have more mesh. It's more breathable, more airy. Now, one thing I do like about this is that it is extremely tall. I'm sitting up. 
My shoulders do touch the walls. That's okay. At least I can sit up. That's a good thing. The body itself is very narrow, but it's very tall at the same time. Anytime that a stronger gust hits this tent, you can see the whole tent just flex <laughs> and then go back because it's so tall. All right, everybody, I'm going to kick back, hopefully cool off. I'll bring you all back whenever it starts raining or anything interesting happens. As it is right now, I've got to strip because I'm just boiling in here. Guys, gals, good night. See you soon. All right, guys. <laughs> this update has absolutely nothing to do. You guys hear that? That is a turkey. A turkey flew right into my camp. It came through the woods. I mean, it sounded like some sort of huge animal. I screamed at it, scared it off. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> What a night, what a night. That's funny. Yeah, at first I wasn't sure what it was. So I was like, oh, screamed at it. I bet you I scared the crap out of that turkey. So it looks like we have some rain coming in. To be honest, I hope it doesn't rain right now. It's just beginning to cool down. There are some issues with this tent. I will talk about those in the morning. Nothing's a deal breaker so far, but there are some aspects that you need to be aware of. Anyways. I'm going to lay down, listen to the turkeys, and whatever else. Whew! Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> so, roughly two seconds later from the last recording, and it is now raining. So, the tent zipped up, door shut, storm mode engaged. Let's see what happens. About 2.30, as you guys can hear, it's raining. And it's been raining for just hours and hours. And like, the storm, the system really hasn't even gotten here yet. It's still pretty much hours away. It's just little stuff on the side, but it's been coming down pretty damn good. The real new addition is the wind. You guys can hear it, it's just howling right now. It's very, very strong. So that's an update for you. See you guys in a little bit. All right, good morning, everybody. How you doing, everybody? As for myself, I'm not doing bad at all. There is a gigantic tick right here. He really, really wants me. He was over here, kind of got up, started moving a little bit, making some noise, and he is making his way over here. Anyways, so let's talk about this tent. Right now, it's not raining too hard, but it rained pretty dang hard off and on all night long and the winds have been kicking up slamming into this tent and I can tell you that this thing is rock solid if you stake it out nice and good. Also I've stayed 100% dry when it comes to moisture pretty dang good really. There's not much to complain about here and with that being said I will have to continue testing this tent out because it's super windy. What about on those nights where it's not? This polyester material here, I believe it's polyester, this limits airflow. So the winds would blow, you have air coming through here, it's high up. So you're laying here, you don't even feel the air come over the top of you. It's an interesting tent. For the money, excellent quality, fairly lightweight, good materials. So we got the wind, we got the rain, and this tent has done well. Of course, this is just one night out of many that I'm going to test out this tent. Talking about this tent here, this is probably the most highly requested product to review 
that I've received. I mean, hundreds of requests. So, my question for you all, what is it about this tent that's so popular? Besides the fact that it's inexpensive, what is it? Because there are plenty of good, inexpensive tents. So, yeah, make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts on that. I will have multiple videos about this tent. Test night set up, ultimately, the review. All right, guys, gals, I'm going. Time for me to head home, get to work. This has been another fun test night. If you have any questions, email me. If you have any comments, comment down below. Everyone, strength and honor. See you around.